Chair Exile, only one place to start. Your son's first game on Saturday. How did he find the experience? He loved it. Uh, coming to two years old, uh, I didn't know how it was going to go. I thought he just wanted to get down, always going to get down and run around, but he was there clapping, screaming, celebrating. Yeah, absolutely loved it and super proud. Brilliant. Uh, we are a family club, of course. Were there other families there? Did they generally find the experience good, do you find? Yeah, for sure. It was a massive day for the club and I think everyone enjoyed it. And unfortunately, we couldn't get the result that we wanted, but a point is uh, better than none. You've been here a year, of course. I mean, when you stepped out on Saturday at Plough Lane, did the enormity of what we've achieved hit you then? Yeah, for sure. Last year was, was odd, um, as everyone would say. It did feel like a training game with no fans in the stadium and the fans are the main part of a football club, of a team and they are the 12th man and that definitely showed them Saturday. Has it pulled you even closer to, to realise what you're fighting for when you saw all those fans in on Saturday, yeah? Yeah, no, definitely. Obviously we know within ourselves where we want to be and where we want to go and to have that added factor of they want us to do the best we can and we want to do the same for them is massive for us. That first season, of course, for you as well, I mean, you came in under Glenn and Nick. The management structure changed as well to Robbo. Um, how did you find that for your first season? Uh, obviously, things didn't go too well with the previous management, but that's gone now. We're now where we are now, and working under Robbo is, is excellent. Um, learning day by day, week by week, and you can see that in the performances that we're showing on Saturday. And you've come back in, of course, um, from the summer, you know, in great shape as well. Did they set you kind of like a plan? to work to give us a bit of insight on that? Uh, yeah, we, we had individual plans. Um, my plan was just to go away, keep super fit and, and strong, because uh, that's a, a position I'm in, up and down the wing. And yeah, I thought I've come back in good shape and I've started the season well. Absolutely, I mean, you've spoken about the start of the season there. Um, what have you made of it and how you fitted into it? I think it's been a good start. Obviously Saturday we had a, a few disappoint, disappointing um, factors. Uh, i.e. small mistakes and little errors, but they're going to happen. But taking four points from two games, you would have taken that at the start of the season. And of course, Henry Lawrence has come in as well. It's, it's a challenge that you welcome, but then again, you're all fighting for the same cause, yeah? Yeah, for sure. Competition is healthy, and I feel you need that within a, in a squad. Um, you need everyone to push you every single day. And he's come in, he's a different class, and he started well, and uh, he came on a Saturday and made a big impact. Of course, Gillingham tomorrow night, the last time we played them at Plough Lane in February, you were on the bench on that occasion. Jack Madoni came up with a bit of magic that night. What are we expecting tomorrow night? To be fair, I don't think we, we look at our opponents. We just look at what we're going to do and set our targets and our plan and, and go into the game with that, uh, that mindset and that confidence, really. Uh, but it's going to be a difficult game, like every single game this season. But if we do what we can do, we'll be fine. And after what we saw on Saturday, how much are the boys looking forward to playing under the lights there in front of the full house of Plough Lane? Yeah, everyone's excited to play there week in, week out. Um, so tomorrow's going to be another exciting one, the first game under the lights. And yeah, everyone's buzzing for it. And of course, your son now has been bitten by the bug for football. Is he going to be allowed to stay up beyond his bedtime to watch it? No, nah, definitely not. <laughs> He'll be there at Saturday games, but no, no midweek games. Brilliant, Che. Thanks for your time. No, thank you.